thank you. The question is that Amendment 1328.1, in the name of Neil Bibby, which seeks to amend, to amend Motion 1328 in the no name of George Adam on setting out a business programme, be agreed, and members should cast their votes now. The result of the vote on amendment number 1328.1 in the name of Neil Bibby is yes 53, no 68. There were no abstentions. The amendment is therefore not agreed. The next question is that motion 1328 in the name of George Adam on setting out a business programme be agreed. Members should cast their votes now. The vote is now closed. The result of the vote on motion 1328 in the name of George Adam is yes 68, no 53, there were no abstentions, the motion is therefore agreed. The next item of business is consideration of four parliamentary bureau motions and I ask George Adam on behalf of the parliamentary bureau to move motions 1329 and 1330 on approval of SSIs, 1332 on substitution on committees and 1333 on the Office of the Clerk. Thank you, President Officer. All moved. Thank you. The questions on these motions will be put at decision time. And there are seven questions to be put as a result of today's business. 
And I remind members that if the amendment in the name of Graham Day is agreed to, the amendment in the name of Graham Simpson will fall. And the first question is that amendment 1300.2 in the name of Graham Day, which seeks to amend motion 1300 in the name of Neil Bibby on ScotRail be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. The Parliament is not agreed and members should cast their votes now. The vote is now closed. The result of the vote on amendment number 1300.2 in the name of Graham Day is yes 68, no 53, there were no abstentions, the amendment is therefore agreed and therefore the amendment in the name of Graham Simpson falls. And the next question is that motion 1300 in the name of Neil Bibby as amended on ScotRail be agreed. Are we all agreed? The Parliament is not agreed, therefore we will move to a vote and members should cast their votes now. The vote is now closed. I call Sharon Dowie for a point of order. I call Sharon Dowie for a point of order.
Aye, it's not connect, and I would have voted no. Thank you, Ms Dowie. We can record that on your behalf. Thank you. The result of the vote on motion 1300 in the name of Neil Bibby is yes, 68. I should say the vote as amended is yes, 68, no, 53. There were no abstentions and the motion as amended is therefore agreed. The next question is that amendment 1302.3 in the name of Hamza Youssef, which seeks to amend motion 1302 in the name of Jackie Bailey, on taking action on the NHS and ambulance crisis be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. The Parliament is not agreed, therefore we will move to a vote and members should cast their votes now. The vote's now closed. The result of the vote on amendment number 1302.3 in the name of Hamza Youssef is yes, 68, no, 53. There were no abstentions. The amendment is therefore agreed. The next question is that amendment 1302.2 in the name of Sandesh Gulhani, which seeks to amend motion 1302 in the name of Jackie Bailey on taking action on the NHS and ambulance crisis be agreed. Are we all agreed? The Parliament is not agreed, therefore we will move to a vote and members should cast their votes now.
The vote is now closed. I call Siobhan Brown for a point of order. I call Rhoda Grant for a point of order. Thank you, Presiding Officer. I was unable to vote. If I had voted, I would have voted yes. Thank you, Ms Grant. We'll ensure that's recorded. I call Michelle Thompson for a point of order. Thank you, Presiding Officer. My connection dropped and I was unable to vote. I would have voted no. Thank you, Ms Thompson. We'll ensure that's recorded. I call Siobhan Brown for a point of order. Regrettably, we are unable to hear from Siobhan Brown. The result of the vote on amendment number 1302.2 in the name of Sandesh Gulhani is yes 53, no 67. There were no abstentions. The amendment is therefore not agreed. The next question is that motion 1302 in the name of Jackie Bailey as amended on taking action on the NHS and ambulance crisis be agreed. Are we all agreed? The Parliament is not agreed, therefore we will move to a vote and members should cast their votes now.
The vote is now closed. The result of the vote on motion 1302 in the name of Jackie Bailey, as amended, is yes 70, no 51. There were no abstentions. The motion, as amended, is therefore agreed. And I propose to ask a single question on four parliamentary bureau motions. Does any member object? No member objects, therefore. The final question is that motions 1329, 1330, 1332 and 1333, in the name of George Adam, on behalf of the Parliamentary Bureau, be agreed. Are we all agreed? The motion is therefore agreed. That concludes decision time. Point of order, Gillian Mackay. Presiding officer, once again, noise in this chamber has prevented me from participating in some parts of this afternoon's proceedings. I'd like to, th like to thank you for continuing to remind members of the barrier that excessive noise causes in the chamber. What I'm particularly annoyed at this evening is what I believe to be ableist comments when others are challenged either by myself or comments after you intervene, presiding officer. Indeed, when I challenged a member, who shall for now remain nameless, that I could not hear over their shouting, that was met with a shrug and a comment about others not taking interventions. Could I take this opportunity to remind all in the chamber that it is often your behaviour that is a barrier to others participating and not our impairments? I would be grateful, presiding officer, if you could advise on what else can be done. Thank you, Ms Mackay, for your point of order. I am in no doubt that colleagues will have heard your, your, your comments. Um, as I have asked frequently, we need to make sure, while we don't want you know, debate this to be a, a silent or you know, it's not going to be a silent chamber. Colleagues are going to show their, their appreciation, their disquiet, sometimes their discomfort, their dissatisfaction with other members' comments. But I do think that we could get to a position where we conduct business with courtesy and respect, and that does involve ensuring that each and every member in the chamber can hear what's going on. You know, I appreciate sometimes there will be lively and noisy interludes, but if we could just bear in mind that perhaps we may not all, uh, you know, hearing across the chamber may not be the same for each and every member in this chamber, but I would like to get to the position where each and every member in the chamber can hear what's being said at least most of the time. Thank you very much. Thank you for your point of order, Ms Mackay.